In this video, we're going to take a look at what's called the least common multiple and how we can find it using mental math, at least with smaller numbers. The least common multiple, simply put, is the smallest multiple of several numbers. And rather than writing out least common multiple, usually we'll abbreviate it as an LCM. For example, if, if we wanted to know the least common multiple of 20 and 30, one way we could do that would be to list out the multiples of 20. 20 times 1 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, 20 times 3 is 60, 20 times 4 is 80, 20 times 5 is 100, 20 times 6 is 120, 20 times 7 is 140, and we could keep going. Then we could also list up a bunch of multiples of 30. 30 times 1 is 30, 30 times 2 is 60, 30 times 3 is 90, 30 times 4 is 120, 30 times 5 is 150, and we could keep going with that. What you'll notice is that if we look at both of these lists, there is some overlap. You'll notice the number 120 shows up in both lists. You'll also notice the number 60 showed up in both lists. 60 and 20, we say, are common multiples because they're common to both lists. However, we're interested in the least common multiple, which would be the smallest of these. The least common multiple, then, of 20 and 30 is 60. A way we can find the least common multiple, at least using mental math, is what we will do is we will test multiples of the big number, and we'll simply ask ourselves, can we divide it by the small number? So let's take a look at some examples where we find the least common multiple of two numbers using mental math. This mental math process is really nice with smaller numbers that we can divide by and multiply with in our head. If we wanted the least common multiple of 8 and 12, I'll show my work here, but you'd probably do most of this in your head. We'd start with the bigger number, 12, and look at multiples of 12. 12 times 1 is 12. Can we divide that by the other number? Can we divide that by 8? No, we can't. So what we will do is check the next multiple of 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Can we divide that by 8? Yes, we can. 24 divided by 8 is 3. And so what that tells us is this number, this multiple that we just found, 24, is the least common multiple or smallest multiple that's in common to both 8 and 12. Let's try one more example. Let's find the least common multiple of 15 and 30. Again, I'm going to show out the work here, but normally we would do most of this in our heads using mental math, starting with the bigger number, the first multiple of 30. 30 times 1 is 30. And we ask, can we divide that by the other number? Can we divide that by the 15? Yes, we can. Because we can, that tells us that that multiple, that 30, is the least common multiple or smallest multiple of both 15 and 30. So that's kind of the mental math method we use to find the least common multiple. Start with the big number and find multiples and ask, can we divide that by the other multiple? Once we find the first number that we can divide by the other number, we have our least common multiple.